we know we need to be creating more content online, but that means we got to get over that camera shyness. We have to learn how to be more confident when we're creating content, whether it's videos, whether it's our podcast, whether we're connecting a live stream with our people, whatever it is, we have to build our confidence. So today we're going to focus our entire video on building confidence. Hey, I'm Coach Molly from the Visibility Hacking Team, and I help small business owners get more visible online. And big part of what we do is we create content. And doing that, ah, well, in the process of doing that for the last few years, I have come across so many brilliant entrepreneurs, visionary entrepreneurs with fantastic ideas, brilliant, incredible experiences and knowledge that they want to, they really want to bring forward to the world, but they, oh, they reach this roadblock of confidence where for some reason, the person who walks out on stage or the person after we press record, they're two completely different people in comparison to the, the incredible entrepreneur that I'm just chatting with um, casually. And so I, I've i really gone on this journey of trying to figure out how do we help inspire these visionary leaders and these visionary entrepreneurs to bring their best ideas and their best selves forward. Does it sometimes feel like everyone around you is significantly more confident than you? Well, at the same time, you feel like crawling in your skin? Well, that's why you need to pay attention to today's video. We're gonna talk about simple strategies to boost your confidence. And we're gonna start by talking about where confidence starts. It starts with you. It starts with each and every one of ourselves. Then we're gonna talk about the hardest part of being confident. And at the end of the video, we'll talk about the comfortable way to leave your comfort zone. So stay tuned for this and more. Roll the intro. See you on the other side. First and foremost, confidence begins inside of ourselves. Whether we feel confident looking ourselves in the eye in the mirror, th that is the question you have to answer. You have to be okay with yourself. And so confidence really starts in the way that we talk to ourselves. So what I want you to do from now on, from this moment you take the pledge that yes, you want to build your confidence because you want to get your message out there, you need to now, moving forward, never talk negatively about yourself again. That means we're not talking about how we failed or we messed up. We're not talking about how we're a horrible person or we really don't look great today and we None of that. Instead is I want positive self-talk, positive thoughts, positive affirmations about yourself. And yeah, it feels really woo-woo, but what's happening psychologically in our heads is that our brains are being rewired. The way that we are connecting pieces of information and that centers around where we are located relative to all that information. The information and the experience around us is defined by how we perceive it. And so if we're going into that experience with this negative perception and these negative ideas, that's going to hardwire that thought process and that perception in our brain. But instead, we have this beautiful uh, plasticity in our brain, it's called, our ability to change and adapt. We can change that hardwiring that's happened because of years and years of that negative self-talk. And instead, we can change that and turn it into positive reinforcement, into hard hardwired connections that go in the complete opposite direction and help reinforce our confidence. Confidence isn't something that you just flip on like a switch when you're about to walk on stage or you're about to hit record or you're about to go onto your first virtual conference. It, that's not how it works. It, it's like bodybuilding. You have to start and put the work in every single day and when no one's noticing that you're improving. You, you are on this micro, micro level every single day. And it starts with the way that you talk about yourself and the way that you talk to yourself. So when you're walking into a, a situation when you're getting that nervous energy, recognize that what's happening in your brain there and what's happening in your body, nervousness is the exact same thing as excitement. 
It's just we're giving it a different name. So when you're feeling that nervousness, those butterflies in your stomach, I want you to now tap into saying, those are my energy. It doesn't need to feel that woo-woo, I promise. Just recognize that when you're feeling that energy, that nervousness, you can also put the label on of excitement because there's something new that's happening. There's a new challenge that you're about to encounter. But confidence starts with us. Now, okay, I know it sounds super woo-woo, but if you have any of those daily affirmations that you tell yourself, things that you tell yourself on a regular basis, maybe you're like me and you write them on post-it notes, or I have vinyl decals on my mirror that say, uh, that have like my personal mottos and stuff. Well, let me know if you have any of those down in the comments. I'm super curious. I'll put mine down as well. Okay, confidence is definitely not like a light switch. It's not something you can just turn on or turn on off, but it's also not a shield of armor. Being confident doesn't mean that you can't still mess up and you can't still make mistakes and you can't still learn from things around you. But I need you to understand that the hardest part of confidence is realizing that you can still be at fault. You can still mess up. The hardest part of confidence is accepting criticism recognizing that, yeah, we do still have room that we can grow. We can still make mistakes. We can still learn and grow because when you get over that hurdle and you actually realize that accepting criticism is a reality of confidence, you then turn it into your greatest superpower. It becomes your greatest gift. Because when people are able to give you criticism, when they notice that there are places and areas for you to grow, someone who is confident steps boldly into those spaces. That's where we continuously grow. We don't just lean into the things that are comfortable and easy to do if we want to be better. We can't grow our confidence if instead we're focusing on skills that have nothing to do with our confidence. Instead, recognize those areas where you feel like they are nervous, they are, they make you anxious, you don't like them. Maybe for you, if you're listening to this video, that is, that nervousness comes from the idea of speaking on camera or speaking on stage. So step into that and recognize that that's a place that we want to play. We want to push that boundary. We want to explore that space because when we focus on growing in those areas that we feel we're not good at or our weaknesses, if you want to put it that way, when we start to push on those boundaries, that's when we start to grow. Maybe it will take just a little bit of pushing and you'll realize, oh wait, I'm actually really good at this thing that I thought I wasn't very good at. But it takes you, the confident person who speaks confidently to themselves, to boldly step into those spaces. Accept that criticism and use it as your greatest gift to keep pushing forward. I love it. And if you want to take a bold step today, just hit the subscribe button and join us here on the channel. The idea of stepping into those spaces that make us nervous and starting to push on those to build that confidence. It kind of sounds like you need confidence to build confidence and the reality is you do. So start with the way that you talk to yourself. That sets the seed. Then we start recognizing where we need to start pushing and growing and we know how we can do that. Now, let's let's figure out how we can do this in the most comfortable way possible because it sounds like having an ice bath and that doesn't sound very fun if you're anything like me. So, how do we do this? How do we keep ourselves comfortable as possible while we're doing this hard work? You are not going to believe what I'm about to tell you. I want you to wear something that you love. And this is literally, there's no woo-woo in this whatsoever. Seriously, I want you to pick clothing that you enjoy wearing that makes you feel comfortable when you're doing these things. If you want to feel confident and bold and you have a really awesome blazer that gives you that confidence, then I want you to wear it. If you need to have nice warm bunny slippers on your feet out of the camera because that's what makes you feel safe and comfortable, then do it. 
I want you to build that armor that makes you feel strong because that is going to reflect inwardly. It's going to help you feel good about yourself, speak well to yourself. It's going to make you feel strong and bold and in the character that's going to allow you to step in and start pushing on those spaces that are difficult. Once we figure out what that armor is, we know, like when you were a teenager, I am sure you had some wonderful outfit in your closet that you always wanted to wear because it made you feel cool. It made you feel strong. It made you feel special, whatever it is. That's the feeling that I want you to find. Go through your closet. And if you don't have anything that makes you feel that way, then go get something that feels like that. And I'm not saying go, go buy things every day, but what I want you to do is build that armor that makes you feel strong, whatever that is. That will help you show up. I love to wear shirts from Visibility Hacking, um, shirts from our, our vintage collection and shirts from our new collection, all of that stuff. I love to do it because it makes me feel connected to my people when I'm making videos for you guys. So figure out what your armor is. If you have a cool one, you wanna post pictures, definitely put our links down below or tag me on Instagram at Visibility Hacker. I'd love to see your armor, um, see you boldly show up and boldly be confident. Mm. And then what do you do once you have that confidence? What, how do you take that into um, actually connecting with your people and actually turning that into business online? Because that seems like a big jump, right? Well, the reality is once you start finding that confidence and you realize that talking to your camera and connecting to your people in this fashion isn't actually that um, that scary. And so you start to create more and more of that. And now you're stepping into what we like to call in the visibility hacking world, connection machines. These are the processes and systems in our business that help us deepen our connection to our existing customers, but also reach out and find new customers. And that is a beautiful thing. So if you wanna learn more about doing that, um, I invite you to join our free Facebook group. Join us in the visibility hacking world. You can head over to visibilityhacking.com and at the top of the page, there's a button that says become a visibility hacker. Click on that, it'll put you into the group, answer some questions so we know who you are and that you're not a robot. And then uh, you can enjoy all of the information we have. You have access to all of our coaches and so much more. And again, absolutely free, so why not? <laughs> So I will see you guys in our next video. And until then, check out one of these. Remember, I love you. Be excellent to each other. And go find your people, because they're out there and they're waiting for you. Go get them. <laughs>